The coach had been making fun of my baggy board shorts all season. Now it was my turn to have some fun. I wore a tiny pink Speedo to swim practice. <laughs> the coach laughed. It had been three years since I met the coach during my winter of chemotherapy. Three years since I started my race through cancer treatment. As the token cancer survivor on a triathlon team, I was used to lots of attention, and I thrived on it and sought it out <laughs> wherever I could. That's certainly why I bought the Speedo. It was a cancer anniversary gift to myself and marked down a striking 90%. The little Speedo was also a way to show off the fact that I've kept my cancer skinny. My teammates are skinny. They are raising money for research by running their first marathon or triathlon. They're also little more than half my age. Keeping my cancer skinny is one of the silver linings of cancer survivorship. I'm as skinny as they are. Pre-cancer, I had considered my expanding waistline a sign of prosperity. I was a New York lawyer. All my classmates had grown a couple of waist sizes in the decades since law school. More weight, just like hair loss, was an outward sign of maturity. Clients like having a big, bald lawyer. Throughout cancer treatment, I did my best to keep up appearances. As I lost weight, people noticed, and not in a good way. Shrinking exposed my weakening state. I dug into the boxes in the back of my closet. I still had old interview suits from law school that I thought I'd never fit into again, but couldn't part with. Now, they had a second life. It was a little like buying new clothes without the cost. How lucky that men's business fashion had not changed. For a few weeks during radiation, I had trouble swallowing. I dropped to my high school weight. I was on the cancer weight loss program. I bought new suits again without waiting for a sale. At the time, I was barely staying on my feet. Buying the smallest suit I'd had since my bar mitzvah, I remember thinking, I should buy a good one. I might be buried in it. Ironically, I could charge the suit to my credit card and might not live to face the bill. More practically, I was billing fewer hours, bringing in fewer clients. I needed to look as good as I could. I realized that if I lost enough weight to need even smaller clothing, I would lose many more of my functional abilities. Now, looking forward to another year without cancer, I brought my weight back to a place where I feel strong, but still skinny enough to laugh at myself in a little pink Speedo. Showing off my cancer skinny has offered new and unexpected ways to measure recovery.